Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Katja and I'm a furniture artist. Today I'm sharing some amazing furniture art with you guys and I hope you're ready for this because this piece is amazing. We are going to create a dramatic, a beautiful and a one of a kind piece and that is what I love to do. Before we dive into the video, I want to let you know that this uh, video was supposed to be ASMR. You were supposed to sit there and enjoy the process without uh, my talking, hearing that amazing sound of my work but unfortunately somewhere in between there we lost the audio so I have to guide you through this video because this is just a one-of-a-kind piece that I have to share with you guys and how we lost the audio I have no idea ask Carlos <laughs> all right I got this beautiful piece of a Facebook marketplace and it's such a gorgeous piece of furniture for a special project, I needed to create a special color because what I had on hand was not good enough for me and I wanted something different, something special. So I decided to mix my own colors and create a custom color. So what I did here, I mixed half a cup of Napoleonic blue with one and a half cup of Capri pink. And I created this beautiful one of a kind purple color. And I love Anislon colors for so many reasons, but one of my favorite reasons is that Anislon colors are so easy to mix with each other because they don't have black pigments in them so you can mix any color you want. When I saw this piece, I exactly knew what I wanted to do with it. I wanted to make it so dramatic and bring the best out of this piece. Once I had my base coat and solid coverage, now I can play and have fun. And how we're going to play and have fun? We are going to put some gold leaf on it. But our gold leaf won't stick to anything without a gold leaf glue. And that's what I did. I grabbed Anislon gold leaf glue and applied on the bottom of the piece. I left that to dry for about 10 minutes and when the glue is transparent, it's not white anywhere, that's when I start applying gold leaf. Once I was done applying gold leaf on the bottom of the piece, now it was time to brush all that uh, gold leaf off whatever didn't stick to the piece and I grab a bigger brush and a smaller brush and I started brushing that off and I made so much mess here there was mess under the piece on me behind me behind the camera oh my goodness there was a gold uh, leaf party in here once I was done with the gold leaf in the bottom I look at the piece and I knew exactly what to do next and that is create some uh, dimension. So to create dimension I grab a Tinian black and I mix it with a purple color and I use a little brush and I went into the details. This gave me that dimension and a dramatic look that I am going for. So just a little brush and, and brush it on and wipe it off with a towel because I didn't want it too much. I just wanted it to look faded, but to give me that dramatic look. And that's what I did. Yeah. <laughs> 
to make this piece even more dramatic because all I want from this piece is drama. I want her to look like a drama queen. I want her to be a drama queen, but it has to be a queen. So I grab a tin in black and I start dry brushing it on the bottom of the piece, creating that uh, faded look just at the bottom, not everywhere. And I kept on going until I felt that it looked good. this point I took a step back and I look at this piece and I was already in love and I was so happy and that is the feeling I can describe because it just feels so good when your vision is coming to life because not every time that happens sometimes I mess up and I mess up badly but this time I was not messing up everything was going so smoothly except that audio was getting lost in this video but I had no idea at that point. I got some great idea and that is why not add some stems on the top drawers. But I didn't wanna just add any stems, I wanted to add gold leaf stems. So I grab my resin with Prima stems, I apply Anislon glue on the stem and I stem that glue onto the top drawers. When that was dry, I apply a gold leaf and brush everything off and I got this beautiful design around the hardware. Now we have to pay attention to this trimming because uh, I can't just leave it like this. It looks unfinished at this point. This part took me probably six hours. I was exhausted, my back was hurting me, and then I questioned myself why I'm doing this for six hours, gold leafing the trim on the piece of furniture, and then I remember, yes, you're in love with gold, so. Now I grabbed that Athenian black again and mix it with a purple color again and went around the trim. At the end, I grabbed some Anislon clear wax and protected everything. And I was done with this beautiful, gorgeous, amazing looking piece of furniture. I really love this piece, but I feel like I say that in every video, I really love this piece, but I really, really love this piece. I am absolutely in love. I have no idea where I can put it in my home because I don't have a mansion, 
but I would really love to keep it if I can only find some space in my house. I love everything about it. I love gold leaf, the custom color, the aging, drama. It's just so beautiful. And that's why I love what I do. I love creating one-of-a-kind pieces because this piece, it looked okay. I saw that it has a lot of potential, it was beautiful, but it wasn't center of attention. And I want my pieces to be center of attention wherever they go, all around America. I really hope you liked this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment below and subscribe if you haven't already. And next week I am bringing you something exciting. I have something exciting to share with you guys. So tune in, tune, tune in, tune in, tune in, tune in. Tune in. <laughs>